President Biden once said that infrastructure is the measure of a country's modernization level. But in this regard, I think China's achievements are particularly outstanding. Statistics show that they have more than 1 million bridges and 45,000 kilometers of high-speed rail. Their scale and modernization surpass the United States in many aspects. However, China's influence goes far beyond that. As a long-term strategic partner of many African countries, China has also brought its experience and technology in infrastructure construction to the African continent. Located 30 kilometers south of Luanda, Angola, this place was once a wilderness that no one had ever set foot on. But now a modern house is rising here. This is because China invested 10 billion US dollars to build 700 apartment buildings and more than 20,000 residences. This new city, which can accommodate 230,000 residents, has changed the living environment of local residents. However, China's behavior of helping African countries through infrastructure has aroused concern and controversy in Western countries. They believe this is a neo-colonial strategy aimed at controlling African countries through infrastructure construction. So what changes has this new $10 billion city made for Angola? What is the purpose of everything China is doing here? If you like our video content, please click to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can receive all our latest video content. Now let's get into today's topic. Angola is located in Southwest Africa and has a population of more than 35 million people. After decades of development, Angola has now become an African country whose economic strength cannot be underestimated. The oil reserves here have reached an astonishing 9 billion tons, and the average daily crude oil production reached 1.23 million barrels in 2023, ranking second in Africa after Nigeria. But in 2023, Angola made a major decision to withdraw from the OPEC organization. This is because they did not gain any development benefits after joining the organization, so in order to defend its own interests, it had no choice but to withdraw. But you may not have imagined that Angola's development path was full of twists and turns a few decades ago. Like many African countries, Angola has a painful colonial history. As early as 1482, the Portuguese fleet first set foot on this land. For about 500 years, Angola remained a Portuguese colony. Since then, resistance and war have become almost daily life in the country. It was not until November 11, 1975 that Angola officially declared its independence. But what followed was a long civil war that brought untold suffering to the newly independent country. The civil war finally ended in 2002, but Angola faced a series of new challenges. The traces of the war are everywhere, and many people have to live in crumbling houses or slums. Even the buildings that survived often had power and water supply problems due to lack of maintenance, and living conditions were extremely difficult. Over the past decade, the Angolan government has worked together to improve these conditions. However, Due to its limited economy, Angola has to seek more assistance from the international community. Unfortunately, Angola has not achieved the stability and prosperity expected since independence. Continued political instability and deep-rooted corruption have seriously hampered the nascent country's development. What's more serious is that many countries are unwilling to support Angola's reconstruction because they believe that no matter how much money they spend, it will be difficult to save this newly born country. But despite such risks, China is willing to reach a series of cooperation agreements with Angola to help the West African country rebuild its broken infrastructure. In 2004, China launched the Angola model, a cooperation method that involves loans in exchange for oil. Through this model, China has provided Angola with more than 4.5 billion US dollars in just six years to support Angola's post-war recovery and reconstruction efforts. With China's capital injection, 
Angola has accelerated the reconstruction process of infrastructure, including key areas such as roads, medical facilities, and schools. In order to better improve people's living conditions, the Gola government launched an ambitious housing project in 2007, aiming to create stable and comfortable homes for the general public. However, due to limitations in domestic infrastructure and technical level, the project encountered many obstacles and even stalled. Until 2008, at the Forum on China-Africa Cooperation Summit hosted by China, Angolan officials expressed the hope that China would provide financial support for their housing projects. However, China responded positively to Angola's request. As a country's leader in global infrastructure construction, China has pledged to assist Angola in overcoming the difficulties of building housing projects based on its profound experience and technical strength. Next, the two parties signed a contract for a housing project in Kalamba New City involving 10 billion US dollars, of which the first phase amount was 3.5 billion US dollars. To ensure the smooth progress of the project, China quickly dispatched a professional team to Angola to conduct geological survey and project planning. But as soon as Chinese engineers arrived in Angola's Kalamba region, they faced huge challenges posed by vast wastelands and swamps. But they did not back down. Instead, they chose to start from the basics, redesign the plan, use advanced technology and careful planning, and gradually transform this desolate land into construction land, laying a solid foundation for building a new city. According to the project plan, the total investment in the Kalamba New City project is approximately 10 billion US dollars, with a total construction area of 3.31 million square meters. Among them, the first phase of the housing project requires the construction of 700 apartment buildings and 20,000 residential units. In addition, the project also takes into account the quality of life of residents and the sustainable development of the city, including the construction of key municipal facilities such as schools, hospitals, water plants, roads, and power stations. During this process, Approximately 12,000 Chinese construction experts and workers worked side by side with 17,000 Angolan workers to overcome various difficulties during the construction process. However, after just four years, the ambitious project was a complete success. This project successfully demonstrated China's outstanding capabilities in infrastructure construction and also aroused great admiration from the Angolan people. In August 2012, China successfully handed over the new city of Kalamba to the Angolan government. It was also a landmark achievement in the country's post-war reconstruction. In addition, China's contribution to this new city goes far beyond the building itself. They have also established an urban operations service center to provide comprehensive services including maintenance and repair. This measure has greatly improved the city's management efficiency and also the quality of life of local residents is guaranteed. Today, Kalamba New Town is full of vitality. Facilities such as shops, hospitals and schools are well-equipped and well-functioning, ensuring that residents enjoy high-quality services and conveniences. The city's prosperity has changed the lives of hundreds of thousands of people, not only greatly improving their living conditions, but also accelerating Angola's post-war reconstruction process. In addition to this, China's help to Angola is also involved in the oil sector. China's investment in oil field exploration and infrastructure also involves technology transfer and professional training. These cooperations have boosted Angola's oil production growth and technological improvement. In order to thank China for its contribution, Angola decided to sell 50% of its annual oil production to China. This not only laid the foundation for Angola's economic development, but also provided important support for China's energy security. But as China's influence in Africa grows, its influence in the region has also been closely watched and even caused concern by Western countries. Part of this concern is due to a misunderstanding of the nature of China's relations with African countries. Some Western media are even spreading the so-called China threat theory, 
out of concern about China's growing global influence. This view often interprets Chinese construction projects in Africa as attempts to control African economies. But they ignore the real cooperative relationship between China and African countries and the positive impact it brings. In fact, China's investments and projects in Africa have not only created a large number of job opportunities for local society, but also greatly improved infrastructure and promoted economic development. These construction achievements clearly demonstrate the true intentions and results of cooperation between China and African countries, and also demonstrate the cooperation model based on mutual respect, equality, and mutual benefit. As far as I know, since the beginning of the 21st century, the total contract value of China's engineering projects in Africa has exceeded 700 billion US dollars, and its completed turnover has exceeded 400 billion US dollars. These figures mark China's emergence as one of Africa's most important partners. Chinese infrastructure projects in Africa are not limited to roads and bridges, but also cover many areas such as schools, hospitals, water conservancy facilities, etc., which reflects China's contribution to improving the level of infrastructure in Africa and deepens friendly relations with African countries. Promote the prospect of mutually beneficial and win-win cooperation. To not miss out on our future projects and news updates, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. We will continue to provide you with more exciting and interesting content.